What's up guys, Mikey Marketing Techie back with a brand new video. We're taking a look at something really cool today, something that's actually combining tech stuff and marketing together, which is what we love here on this channel. And what it is is this really interesting, small, cool little thing that's being shipped to various business owners, most that don't know what it is yet, from Google themselves. And what this is, is actually the Google My Business Beacon, something that's part of Google's Project Beacon that they have been talking about now for a couple of years, although it hasn't really been pushed mainstream. However, various small business owners, uh, such as myself, are now getting these beacons in the mail with these two little cards. So, wanted to make a quick video that would let you all know, briefly, what this is. Now, I've had this installed and running here at Media Explode for just over a month, and unfortunately, I did not keep the original packaging that it came with. However, it's a fairly non discreet package, uh, but there is something that's very important on it. On the actual address label is going to be a little pin code, and it's going to seem completely irrelevant to everything, but you are going to need it during the setup process of this beacon. If you lost it, do not worry, it's not essential. Now, the current purpose of this beacon is solely to help improve the insights and the analytics that are available for your business. Furthermore, if you are utilizing the locations extension and running Google AdWords campaigns for your business, this tiny little thing in due time will help to increase the insights and the analytics and the accuracy of the reporting that your campaigns are giving back to you. Now, the actual setup process for this is extremely simple. First off, take it out of the box and now it's on. That's it, it automatically turns on as soon as you take this little tiny piece outside of its original packaging and that little dark box. So I'm assuming it has some little photo sensor somewhere in there that senses that there's now light and this thing switches on automatically and from this point on, it will stay on. Um, after that, take this little tiny device and place it somewhere central in your business. This is essentially a Bluetooth based device. So obviously if it's somewhere central, it can reach the majority of the people that come and go to your business and that would be the best place to put it. Try to avoid putting it onto walls that are going to maybe uh, connect to the neighboring business where it might pick up some of the people that are going to that business that's right next to you. And it may essentially hinder the accuracy that this is trying to improve. Once you've stuck this somewhere, the last thing that you have to do is go to a specific link, which I will also include down in the video description type in the activation pin code that was included on the address label, or if you lost that activation pin code, I'm gonna put this down, go ahead and put in your business zip code and your business name and fill out the rest of the questionnaire and Google will go ahead and activate this little beacon for you. From here, the beacon is up and running and it's doing its little magic and it's working with Project Beacon and it's trying to provide better insights and better accuracy and at the same time, it's trying to gather more information. Google tries to build a profile on the customers and the people that visit your business, your store, wherever it is that this beacon gets installed. Then once it can accurately establish that a person has actually visited your business, we can take things a step further and we can go ahead and remark it back to that person and maybe ask them for a review because they've obviously stopped by the business and they've dealt with us and they could leave us a review. Maybe they want to submit a photo. Maybe they want to do something that can help our Google My Business listing grow. In a nutshell, Project Beacon in a global scale is setting up the ability for these little Bluetooth beacons to be placed across locations and across businesses all over the world and to establish a network. And that network can do many different things. There is a project that's working with Project Beacon to help establish a guidance network for blind people based off of beacons being placed in things. There's a company working with Project Beacon in order to allow you to walk anywhere around the world and look at an art piece, a statue, and instantly be able to pull up the information and the data or the audio about that statue or about that piece of art. There's an app that's based on Project Beacon that can help you find better bars where you are more likely to have a more fun night based on your past experiences and past visits, all working off Project Beacon. Now, Google's been working on Project Beacon for a couple of years now, and it's not really mainstream and it's not really publicized. Um, it is more on the developer side of things, and I think that this Google My Business Beacon is probably the first real public approach that Google has taken with it, uh, but in true Google fashion, they have actually given no information to the public about this. So, hopefully, this video helps. Now, if you wanna get one of these beacons for your business, well. You can only qualify if you're already running Google PPC campaigns uh, and you're also using the locations extension on your Google AdWords campaigns for your business. If you are, there is another link which I will also leave 
in the description section below where you can go ahead and fill out a form to request one of these beacons be sent out to your business. That's it guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave this video a like. Share it with your friends. Any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. See you soon.